Hi there friends! This is Riley Kilo and today I'm going to be showing off some spooky and crinkly Halloween costumes. I also have a big anniversary coming up. It has been 18 years since I started writing my blog, so now my blog is now old enough to read my blog. So I'm going to be talking all about finding your people as well as just showing off some cute outfits and talking about the value of expressing yourself. So. Thanks so much for watching, friends, and be sure to stay diapered. And remember, this is an 18 plus website, and all of my videos and stuff are 18 plus. So, thank you so much for watching, and here we go. Okay, you're gonna have to fill me in on this one. This is some kind of like cute Disney character, and it's from Descendants. And so, I, I never watched that show, but it's really, really cute. And it does have some kind of like real embellishments. It's not just all printed on. And it's got these flappy, flappy wings and stuff. And I like it a lot. It's a cute outfit. <laughs> yeah, I, I like it. It's kind of punky. I, I don't know anything about Descendants. I think it's like um, the kids of Disney characters. like, And they're all in high school and stuff. And um, it kind of sounds like Clone High, but for Disney characters, which sounds fun. So um, yeah, this is really cute though. I like the punky punky look I'd wear this I'm gonna wear this to a punk show and be like look everybody I'm a punk punk girl <laughs> I listen to Andrew Jackson Jihad and stuff like that but anyway um okay let's try some other ones on okay so if we are still sticking with the Disney theme I'm not sure if this is a Queen of Hearts outfit or a kind of a Sleeping Beauty outfit but it's really really cute I like it a lot. It goes great with tights and this is another outfit that you could very easily put your crinkles under and nobody would ever notice and there's always so much noise and everything that it's just really nice. And I, I love Halloween because it gives people the opportunity to dress up and express themselves and kind of break out of their everyday mold and I think that is just so important. And uh, for me, especially as a trans girl, Going out on Halloween and being able to express myself in, you know, girls' clothes and stuff was a really a great opportunity to kind of see myself and be seen, you know, in the way I wanted to be. So when you see people dressing up like stuff, oftentimes they're dressing up as who they want to be, you know? Uh, I think there's a lot of people out there that want to be Walter White that are stuck in these boring lives and want to go out and, and be a, uh, you know, a criminal enterprise person and, and carpe diem. And I think there's lots of girls that want to be um, you know, magical and, and want to be uh, kind of sexy and, and things like that uh, where, you know, maybe they live lives where there's not a lot of, you know, sexual expression and maybe they live kind of repressed lives and stuff. And so um, for me, I think you should try to live the life where every day is Halloween, where you get to dress how you want to dress every single day and you can express yourself in, you know, exciting new ways whenever you want to and not feel like you have to just do that one day out of a year. It just looks really good and it's flattering and for me, I don't have, you know, big hips or big thighs, you know, they're bigger than they used to be, but I don't have these big like childbearing hips and stuff and so things with a little bit of a petticoat really help build out my waist. And so, yeah, really cute. <laughs> I really like it. Anyway, okay, let's try on one or two more. I have some cute Pokemon stuff and some more cheerleader outfits. So yeah, thanks for listening and let's try on some more cute stuff. All right, here's my cute Luigi dress. It's a Luigi dress and it's really cute. And I like it a lot and it fits so good. It's just custom made and it's got these big things and uh, just really cute Luigi dress. and. Uh, I think it's fun to dress like Luigi and wear a big diaper and be super cute. And I started writing my blog so long ago because I wanted to find my people in this world. I felt so isolated from just kind of normal society or any sort of normality because I had these specific like unique interests like wearing diapers and you know having a different gender expression than a lot of other people and kind of like not feeling seen as a, as a trans person or anything being uh, in a time and a space that didn't have a lot of trans people around. And so um, I wrote my blog to, to find people, to, to express my lifestyle in hopes of helping me understand myself better and also help other people understand themselves better, which is I think the whole point of telling stories and sharing your life and stuff, especially online, is just to kind of add to this grand knowledge of like understanding. You know, the more you understand people's others' lives and experiences, the better they reflect on you and the more you just kind of feel 
like you're part of this world and you're not so isolated and I think isolation and shame and those things they turn people bad they, they send people down dark paths and, and for a long time you know I didn't really have a lot of um, good feelings and stuff about being a crinkle girl or being trans and stuff and so you know writing my blog and being around for this so long doing this for so long was a way to show people that this isn't a dead end. This is a thing that can lead to really positive vibes and good feelings. And um, yeah, so anyway, I just wanted to share some happy thoughts because I've been writing my blog for so long and I just want to keep reminding people that, you know, people do things for good and that people are sometimes here, you know, to do altruistic things and to share their stories in hopes of making the world better and stuff. So yeah, and so imagine 18 years ago, like think about what was going on 18 years ago in the world and uh, think about how long ago that was in the context of the internet. It's pretty wild. So yeah, happy thoughts. Really cute Ouija dress. Let's try on something else Nintendo related. Ohayou gozaimasu! <laughs> I got my really adorable kitty outfit. This is a Princess Peach kitty outfit with cute little kitty paws and kitty ears and of course fluffy crinkle kitties. <laughs> I've got kitties on my diapers. I don't really know what kind of diapers these are but they got kitties on them <laughs> and they're really pink and I've been cute and pink so yeah I really like kitty princess peach it's really fun to have like a costume like this that you can get at like a thrift store or spirit halloween or something and then kind of make it your own custom character by adding just something really simple like some kitty ears and so you can do that with a lot of different outfits yeah kitty 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 I feel so cute oh my gosh and the tights go really well with it too and yeah of course big pink fluffy diaper goes really good with it too and yeah these have kitties on them little kitties playing the yarn and everything it's really adorable but I'm a kitty too. <laughs> okay, happy thoughts. Let's try on some more ones. Okay, this is a really cute Dorothy costume. I really, really like dressing like Dorothy. I love pigtails and I just love being in a cute old fashioned dress. I love like overall kind of looking things. And this is a really, really sparkly one. I have another one that's kind of shiny instead of sparkly, but this is my favorite one. I really, really like it. And you get to wear really cute heels with it. And it's just awesome. I don't have any sparkly heels. I do have some beautiful like blood red spooky heels, but no sparkly heels yet, but um, yeah, I really like this one. And plus, if you have a, a homosexual friends, they'll always give you thumbs up for the Judy Garland reference. We love Judy, so <laughs> happy thoughts, and let's try on the other one. Okay, this one isn't quite as sparkly or nice, and really any Halloween clothing that has Velcro on it usually isn't going to be very good, but this one does have one specific advantage in the sense that it is quite a bit shorter than the other one. But yeah, I really like my Dorothy outfits. Dorothy and Tinkerbell are two of my favorite people to dress up as. Alright, this is a really cute Alice in Wonderland dress and it looks like it's got a petticoat but it actually has this like really starchy rough fabric that just I don't really like that much. Uh, I would definitely wear a really pretty petticoat under it but this is kind of a way to wear something that looks like it has a petticoat but doesn't but it's it's really rougher on my waist and it's not uniform like a good petticoat would be and uh, I was never a big fan of the A's so I'd get rid of this and uh, <laughs> yeah unless you want to think about it like a scarlet letter then <laughs> but yeah it's cute and uh, it's got a nice length to it too so it's not going to show too much off but this is kind of a cheaper dress it's not usually up to the quality that I wear. Speaking of Wizard of Oz I think this is like a cute scarecrow dress it's got a heart and it's kind of stitched in and it kind of has scarecrow vibes to it and I think it's really cute and I really like the petticoat to it and it's just really adorable. I like it a lot and it looks good on heels. It shows off a lot of leg and I just really like that. And It's so poofy and pretty too and it's soft. This is really nice. Um, it's got this nice hook on the back too so it's not like velcro and uh, I really really like this piece. It's a it's a really soft gorgeous piece and it's cute and provocative and looks great on my body. And uh, yeah, I hope to wear this out one year. This would be really cute maybe is with some other Wizard Rod friends and stuff. Yeah, really cute. Uh, I grew up 
really, really liking the Wizard of Oz books. They were the bomb, the Frank L. bomb, and uh, I really read a lot of those books. They're really charming books with a lot of cool adventure, and they can be a little spooky too, but I really, really like them, so definitely check them out, yeah. But yeah, feeling so adorable, and Wizard of Oz stuff is really great, especially for group costumes, so let's try in some other cute stuff. Thanks so much for watching, friends. I hope you really enjoyed the video, and I'm sending big, big hugs and happy thoughts. So, more stuff soon. Happy thoughts, and have a wonderful, wonderful autumn. Be well, friends. Peace.